Hi, welcome back. Um, my name's Stephen. And I work for Media Sussex, um, and this is probably the last um, simple tutorial that we'll do um, for a bit uh, about the WordPress content management system. We've uh, looked at uh, the ways in which you can edit the pages and the posts within the blog. We've talked about the widgets, how you can control those, and even the uh, navigation bar. Or as they call them, menus. Assuming you're logged in, this tutorial we just want to talk about and touch on just a few of the other extra features within WordPress. Um, just down here, you've got header that will control the main image that you have in there, um, and background will obviously control the background color or image if needed. Editor, you can edit the theme. Now we're not going to go into any of those in any detail because if you're a graphic designer um, you'll know how to do it and if you are just a user of the website you'll probably never need to um, and if you do please get in contact we'd love to be able to help here this is um, this is actually the plugins section um, plugins are what you can add to the website for example you see this bar here with the uh, Facebook like Google plus one tweet, share. These are little extra things and uh, that's actually a plugin that you add and you tell it all the different things. So you can add a new plugin, let's do it this way. Let's say I would like to be able to display my Instagram on my WordPress. As you can see I already searched this before and you can install that on there and control one thing I will say though is, generally speaking, when it comes to plugins, it's probably best to contact the person who built the website, as some plugins are more stable than others and will naturally work with the website better than others. So yeah, um, probably best speak to the developer for that, but it's worth knowing that that exists. Users, that's how you can control who has access and who doesn't to your website. Um, you can see all users, or add a new one. You can also set permissions within there. Um, tools, there's a number of tools that are available. The main one that I would recommend, and I'm going to show you this one now, is the export and import function. If we click export, what you can do is you can actually select to download an exported file um, from WordPress, um, and that's downloaded for me. It's actually just a simple text file that's very, very, very small. Um, but what it does is it contains all the relevant information about the pages and the posts. What it doesn't do is back up the media, so all the images that are there, um, or the theme itself. That way if the website ever does get broken or whatever else, you can install WordPress again, add the import, select WordPress, and you can just add that file in and upload. That would be as simple as that. So that's just the overview of the backup there. Again, Media Sussex can offer that service to you if you are um, one of our clients and we'd be happy to do that for you. Just let us know. These two here, um, I've skipped settings and we'll come to that in a sec. Um, these two are actually plugins, the contact form and the headers. Uh, you don't need to worry about those, but just worth knowing that when you add new plugins, sometimes you get a few extra menu items down here. Back to settings. Um, if we go to general, uh, you actually get the uh, the name here of the website, which is the one that appears in this top bar here. Also may appear in the design of the website, and this is the secondary, sort of the catchphrase, as you were. Uh, I recommend not changing either of these. These are the domains in which the website is. If you want to change those, probably best speak to the developer. The other thing that's probably worth seeing here is if you click on reading here, yeah, what you can do is you can select where the blog is and where you land when you visit the website. So for example, if I was to type in mediasussex.co.uk, I land by default on the home page, which is, as I say, a page. So I've told it to do that. I've told it to be landing on the home page. And I've told the posts, which is the blog, to be categorized under this page, media blog. So when I cl click the page media blog, I don't actually see the page. What I see is the blog um, that would otherwise be on the home page if I selected that option. Yes, and you just click save there, and that would 
been that. Uh, I really hope that these tutorials have been of use to you. Um, if that is the case, please let us know by giving us a like um, or just getting in contact. We'd love to hear from you. Uh, thanks for watching. Um, if you have any other requests or would like some tutorials made, we'd be happy to look into that for you. So please do let us know. Thanks. This has been Stephen uh, from MediaSussex.co.uk. Thanks. Bye.